singer, a GOP megadonor and open borders enthusiast was behind through the free beacon the original efforts that Fusion GPS was engaged in to produce opposition research on Trump during the 2016 presidential election. After the primary was over and Trump was the GOP nominee in 2016, the effort shifted from a free beacon and singer-backed Fusion GPS mission to a mission funded by failed Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Rodham Clinton's campaign. But, when pressed on the question this week, Rubio sought to distance himself and his campaign from his main donor's efforts. As far as whether it was my campaign, the WASNT and he'll tell you why, Rubio told CNN. He went on, I was running for president. I was trying to win. If I had anything against Donald Trump that was relevant and credible and politically damaging, I would have used it. I didnt have it. I don't know who it was. The one thing, we do know, this thing about the dossier you're discussing, all those press accounts, and I'm just going off press accounts, they all make it abundantly clear that the work that Mr. Steele did on that dossier didnt even start until April or May or June, after the Republican primary was over. So that was the DNC, and that was the Clinton campaign. But the Washington Examiner reported late Friday that lawyers for the singer-funded Washington Free Beacon paid for the project from fall 2015 to spring 2016. Only after that did Hillary Clinton's campaign and the Democratic National Committee pick up the tab for the research efforts, which would later lead to the production of the so-called Russia dossier, the Washington Post reported Tuesday. Singer, a Wall Street hedge fund billionaire, bankrolled Gang of Eight Amnesty leader Rubius' 2016 presidential bid. Both share a mutual belief in amnesty for illegal aliens and have called for increases in immigration. As Finn Breitbart News correspondent and now Trump White House aide Julia Hahn reported in 2015 Singer's decision to throw his financial weight behind the donor class 2016 favorite, Marco Rubio, has sparked fresh questions about Rubio's coziness with the financial interests funding his career. Hahn wrote Singer was a major financial force behind the Rubio-Obama amnesty and immigration expansion push in 2013. As Politico reported at the time, Singer quietly got involved in the fight for immigration reform, making a six-figure donation to the National Immigration Forum, a George Soros-backed organization that lobbied for Rubius legislation to issue 33 million green cards to foreign nationals in the span of a single decade. The announcement of Singer's endorsement highlights an inter-party tension that has emerged with new strength since Paul Ryan's inauguration as Speaker of the House. Following Singer's announcement, when presidential nominee Donald Trump tweeted, I see Marco Rubio just landed another billionaire to give big money to his super PAC, which are total scams. Marco must address him as Sir I see Marco Rubio just landed another billionaire to give big money to his super PAC, which are total scams. Marco must address him as Sir, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 31, 2015 Trump tweeted again, the following day, calling Singer Mr. Amnesty. Further proof that Gang of Eight member Marco Rubio is weak on illegal immigration is Paul Singer's, Mr. Amnesty, endorsement. Rubs can't win, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 1, 2015 In addition to backing Rubio, open borders, and opposition research on Donald Trump, Singer is also a funder of efforts to legalize same-sex marriage and has dumped hundreds of thousands of dollars into supporting Common Core governmental control of education. Breitbart News reached out to Rubius' office for comment on Friday evening to see whether the senator regrets accepting financial backing from Singer, whether the senator thinks what Singer did was acceptable, and to see whether he thinks Singer should testify before Congress about his involvement. Rubius' office did not answer any of those questions from Breitbart News, but he did send the following statement from a spokeswoman other than the Clinton campaign, Senator Rubio and his team do not know who contracted Fusion GPS and had never even heard of them or their alleged research until it was posted online earlier this year. Amanda House is Breitbart News' deputy political editor. You can follow her on Twitter at Amanda Lee House.